okay so in this problem we need to find out which of the following uh, 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 sets are subspaces of r cube so we first recall that uh, a subset of a vector space v is a subspace if and only if it is closed under linear combinations so let's check if uh, the first one is a subspace or not it turns out it is and let's see why because if we have two elements of such kind belonging to this space let us call this w1 uh, and we have alpha and beta which are two scalars here the scalar field is the set of real numbers uh, so the linear combination is alpha times a 0 0 plus beta times b 0 0 which is alpha a plus beta b 0 0 which again belongs to uh, the set w1 so this is a vector subspace let's check for the second one it turns out that this is not a subspace and let's see why uh, the very simple thing is that the zero element of r cube which is uh, the triplet zero 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 does not belong to w2 let's call this space w2 similarly let's call this w3 w4 and w5 so as the zero element of r cube does not belong to uh, the set w2 it cannot be a vector subspace of a cube so let's check for the third one uh, it turns out that it is in fact a vector space subspace let's see why so again if we have two elements a b and c x y and z belonging to w3 so we have b plus c i'm sorry b equals a plus c and z equals x plus i'm sorry again y equals x plus z so let's take any linear combination of uh, these two vectors is alpha times a plus beta times x alpha times b plus beta times y alpha times c plus beta times z so let's see if the second coordinate is a sum of the first and third coordinates so alpha times a plus beta times x plus alpha times c plus beta times z equals alpha times a plus c and beta times x plus z and a plus c is b and x plus z is y and this is exactly the second coordinate of this vector so w3 is also closed under linear combinations so this is also a vector subspace let's check for the fourth one again this is not a vector subspace of r cube because the zero element does not belong to w4 because here b for a b c equals 0 0 0 b equals 0 not equals a plus c plus 1 which is 0 plus 0 plus 1 which is 1 so this is not a vector subspace and for the final one it turns out that it is a vector subspace of r cube because if we have two elements in w5 they would be of the form a comma b comma 0 and say x comma y comma 0 so any linear combination of these two vectors would also be of this form alpha times a plus beta times x alpha times b plus beta times y and 0 
since the only requirement for this uh, space was that the last the third coordinate is zero this belongs to w5 so w5 is a vector subspace of r cube 